Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing various hand soaps to see how well they remove bacteria from my hands. A little bit ago, my viewer Roger reached out to me and asked if he could mail me hand soaps. He was interested in seeing which hand soap would remove the most bacteria from my hands. So I had an email conversation with Roger and I explained why I hadn't tested hand soaps already. One of the reasons why I haven't tested hand soaps is because I've done some preliminary testing where I have swabbed my hands and my kids' hands and I usually just don't find a consistent amount of bacteria on our hands. Another reason is, well, I wash my hands before touching my Petri dishes, so I wanna make sure my hands are as clean as possible before I'm touching them. So I just kind of put off testing hand soaps on the back burner. So we came up with an idea to get consistent bacteria on my hands. And that idea is to use my wrinkle composting system. So I know that the wrinkle uses bacteria in order to break down food. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post a link to that in the description below. But basically it's an indoor food composter that uses bacteria to break down food. Great, so I think I can get a consistent amount of bacteria rubbing the dirt on my hands. Before I actually get started, I wanna give Roger a huge thank you for being patient with me. While we were in conversations about how we could get bacteria consistently on my hands and trying to do some trials to figure out what would really work well before he mailed me something, I had a death in my family. Uh, one of my dearest, dearest, closest friends passed away, and so I needed some time before I could get back into, you know, the mindset of testing. And I want to thank Roger so much for being patient with me while I had to go through that process. So let's see what hand soaps Roger mailed me. Ooh, well, these look good. Let's look at them one by one. Okay, so we have the Dial Foaming Antibacterial Defense, a bar of ivory soap, Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Hemp Almond Pure Castile Bar Soap. Okay, let me have, oh, one leaked a little bit, but that's okay. This one leaked a little bit in the packaging, but there's plenty still in here. It's called Everyone for Everybody Gentle and Nourishing Hand Soap. And, Mrs. Meyer's clean day. So in order to test how well these hand soaps remove bacteria from my hands, the first thing I have to do is get bacteria on my hands. And I'm gonna do that by rubbing my hands in a compost water slurry. After I get the compost and dirt all rubbed in on my hands, I'm going to wipe them with a paper towel. Then I'm gonna get a Petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab my hand. I'm gonna place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna wash my hands using these hand soaps. Swab my hand again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. This way we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on my hand before and after using these hand soaps. So in the email that Roger sent me, he said that he heard that you should say the ABCs to yourself as you're washing your hands, and that should be enough time to clean your hands thoroughly. But he's curious in seeing how much bacteria is removed if I wash my hands, reciting the ABCs to myself, and also just wash my hands. Now I'm gonna come up with a specified amount of time that it's gonna be so I wash my hands the same amount of time for each one. I will definitely tell you what I decide to do um, in the results section. I will be using just a lukewarm water as I'm washing my hands. I'm not gonna use super hot water. I'm not gonna use super cold water. I'm just gonna try to use a temperate lukewarm water. So let's see how well Dial Foaming Antibacterial Defense, Ivory Bar Soap, Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Hemp Almond Pure Castile Soap, Everyone Hand Soap, and Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day remove bacteria from my hands.
Now for some results. So Roger had asked me to test washing hands while saying the ABCs. In order to make a nice consistent time there, I timed myself singing the ABCs a couple of times and it came out to 25 seconds. So that's why I used the 25 second time. Then he also asked if I could do a quick hand wash. So that's why I chose the five seconds. Let's start with the water control. So I wash my hands with just water, both for the 25 seconds and the five seconds, so we could compare just washing with water versus washing with these soaps. Let's look at the 25 second. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there still is a tremendous amount of growth on the plate. So just washing my hands with just water for 25 seconds did not do a good job removing bacteria from my hands. Let's look at washing my hands with water for just five seconds. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but again, there's still an awful lot of growth on this dish. So washing my hands with just water for five seconds did not do a good job removing the bacteria from my hands. 
Wash my hands with a bar of ivory soap. Let's start with the 25 second time. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And I will point out that some of the before bacteria did kind of migrate a little bit over into the after section, but it was clear that you could see that it migrated from there. And in the after section, I don't see any bacterial growth at all. So washing my hands with the ivory soap for 25 seconds did a fantastic job removing the bacteria from my hands. The bar of ivory soap with five seconds. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the bar of ivory soap, even though I just washed with just five seconds, did a fantastic job removing the bacteria from my hands. Mrs. Mari's Clean Day Hand Soap. Let's look at 25 seconds. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's just one tiny bacterial colony. So washing for 25 seconds with the Mrs. Myers hand soap did a fantastic job removing the bacteria from my hands. Mrs. Myers with a five second wash. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's just one tiny bacterial colony. So washing with Mrs. Myers for five seconds did a fantastic job removing the bacteria from my hands. Dr. Bronis hemp soap, 25 seconds. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the bar of Dr. Bronis hemp soap did a fantastic job removing the bacteria from my hands. Dr. Bronis hemp soap with five second wash. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we actually can see some bacterial growth. While washing with the five seconds with the Dr. Bronis bar soap did a good job of decreasing the bacteria, it did not remove all the bacteria from my hands. Dial foaming antibacterial, 25 seconds. In the before section, there's a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's just one bacterial colony. Dial foaming antibacterial hand wash did a fantastic job of removing the bacteria from my hands. Dial foaming antibacterial for five seconds. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's two tiny bacterial colonies. So the dial foaming antibacterial hand wash did a great job of removing the bacteria from my hands. Let's look at the everyone for everybody liquid hand soap. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. In the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the everyone for everybody hand soap did a great job of removing the bacteria from my hands. The everyone for everybody hand soap for five seconds. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we definitely have some growth there. So we can definitely see a visible decrease in bacteria, but the five second wash was just not enough to remove all the bacteria from my hands. Let's compare when my hands were washed with just water to all the different soaps. The dial and water at 25 seconds. Here's the dial and water at five seconds. Here's the ivory and water at 25 seconds. Here's the ivory and water with five seconds. Here's the Dr. Bronner's and water with 25 seconds. Here's the Dr. Bronner's and water with five seconds. Here's the every one and water for 25 seconds. Here's the every one and water for five seconds. Here's the Mrs. Myers and water for 25 seconds. And the Mrs. Myers and water for five seconds. So we definitely can see that using soap with water and washing for at least five seconds, in most cases the 25 seconds, which was saying the ABCs to myself, resulted in almost all of the bacteria being removed from my hands. Now that doesn't take into account removing viruses from my hands. So while in some instances, that five second quick, quick wash seemed to remove a tremendous amount of bacteria, it's probably safest to stick with that 25 second to make sure you're removing all bacteria and also viruses from your hands because I can't test for viruses. Let's talk about the scents of some of these products. The Mrs. Mai's Clean Day is lemon verbena scent and I absolutely love the scent. I've tested Mrs. Mai's lemon verbena like all purpose spray before. It is a beautiful light lemon scent. It's really beautiful. It is very aromatic. So if you don't like strong scents, you don't like having scents around, then it'd probably be a little bit too much for you, but I do think it is an absolutely pleasant scent. The everyone for everybody scent is Meyer lemon and mandarin, and it absolutely smells extremely citrus-like. It's a little stronger than the Mrs. Meyers, but it has a very strong citrus scent. It doesn't linger that much, but it does have a pleasant citrus scent. 
the Dial Foaming Hand Soap scent was coconut water. And yes, I agree. This actually smells like coconut. Um, again, it's pretty light, not very strong at all, pretty pleasant scent. The Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Hemp Almond Pure Castile Bar Soap did not have a very strong scent. Now, I can't smell anything right now that it's not wet. When it was wet, I think I almost smelled like an olive oil type scent. Um, nothing perfumey, no big strong fragrances at all. Um, not a bad scent at all, just a pretty plain soap. The Bar of Ivory Soap, now there's no scent on the label here. This smells like classic ivory soap to me, a very clean soapy smell. Now, if you were to say to me, what does soap smell like? I would probably say this, ivory soap from my childhood, we use this, and this to me just smells like soap. I think if you were trying to actually describe it, maybe slightly floral, maybe almost like baby powder, but um, it's just to me, a soapy scent. None of the scents were overpowering or lingered long at all. They were pretty light and crisp scents. So I really enjoyed doing this test and I wanna thank Roger again. Roger, first, thank you again for your patience with me. Second, thank you for kind of giving me the push to do this test because like I said in the beginning, I kind of held off on it because I was like, how am I gonna get a consistent amount of bacteria? And you know, with Roger's help and with some brainstorming, we were able to come up with, I think, a pretty good consistent test where we could actually see the before and afters washing with these different hand soaps. I think I might do this test again with a different set of hand soaps. So if that's something that you would like to see, please let me know and put it in the comment section because I do like to do tests that my viewers want to see. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can do what Roger did and mail me something. My email address is in the description below. Just do me a favor, send me an email. Let's chat about the product. Let's see if it's something that I have in queue already or something that I've tested already. And I can give you my timeline. Like Roger knows, it took me a couple of months to be able to get to this test. I do have quite a backlog of things that I have to test that people have mailed me. And this will just let you know where I am in my process. Then I'll give you my mailbox address so you can mail me something. I absolutely love doing this test. Thank you again, Roger. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.